How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Yale in the UU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Yale. So they're going to lead off with Metagross, which is always well and good as we lead off with our Mamoswine. So we could have quaked straight away if we really want to. Um, it'll do a lot of damage to the Megro, so that's going to be important. And then we have got the Focus Sash, so we can definitely live a hit. Um, stealth Rocks look like they could be really useful against their team, though. So I'm half tempted to go for a Stealth Rocks. They don't have a Hazard Clearer, so that'd be really nice. So I'm going to get the Stealth Rocks up as a priority. And there we go, Stealth Rocks come through, like so. They do stay in. Are they going to go for their own Stealth Rocks, I wonder? Let's see what they do. So they go for a Trail Blaze, which is scary right now. That is a scary move for a Metagross to go for. So what do I do here? They probably have Clear Body, so we can't intimidate them. I guess our best bet's probably going to be Pyro. No, Pyro's take the Steel move, maybe, but... Um, I think the best bet's Slow King, but I can't really... Aff I'm going to have to go Slow King here. I think Slow King is the best bet, because it can take a Steel type move, no problem. Um, it just can't do anything in return other than Scold. Um, so I'm going to go into it and we'll see about Scolding. They, they could have Knock Off. That's the thing I'm worried about. They go for a BP though, which would have definitely taken out Mamoswine. Not so much the Slow King, which is great and all. Um, so they could stay in and go for a Knock Off, but they'd be risking the Scold Burn. So I am going to go for the Scold. I don't see any reason not to. They go for another Trailblaze, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Not too much. As uh, we can now go for a Scold and potentially burn this Metagross, which would be nice. If we get that burn, that'd be great. No burn. That's that's fine. No burn on the Scold. It's unfortunate when that happens because, it, it, you know, it normally, it normally does. Um, so I guess I just go for another Scold here. I really want to get the burn. They go for another Trailblaze anyway. And that's going to take us down to red, which is unfortunate. But that is a fast Metagross right there. That is a fast Metagross. We go for another Scold though. Can we get the burn? That'd be great. We don't get the burn. But we can take it out with one more of those. Um, the problem we've got is we can't take another Trailblaze. So what do we do here? If we assume, if we assume we go, if, if we assume, all right, okay, all right. I definitely go Mamoswine and sack that thing off. I definitely sack off Mamoswine right here. And the reason is, is purely and simply because I want to get that Regenerator on Slowking so it can come back in and scold pretty much. So they go for another Trailblaze, which is of course going to do a lot of damage to Mamoswine. Mamoswine could go for an Ice Shard here, but it's, un it's unlikely they're going to go for a Bullet Punch. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Shard anyway, just in case. We do get the Ice Shard Chip, which is nice. And then they go for another Trailblaze to finish us off, which is fantastic for them. Um, it's fantastic for us as well, because like I said, Slowking gets its Regenerator, which means it gets its health back. We did unfortunately lose Mamoswine like, to the first Pokemon they've thrown on the field. But at least we have got Redemption Arc here in, in the sense of Slow King can come in and finish this thing off with a Scold. So let's go for the Scold, like so. They go for another Trailblaze, which is, which is not going to KO us. Does boost their speed again. But Scold should definitely finish this thing off right now. So there we go. So Regenerator came in clutch there against the Metagross, a very frightening Metagross. Let's mark it off on my little team thing that I've got here. There we go. In comes the Galvantula. This thing is a threat to my... Sloking, that's for sure. But the Stealth Rocks are going to sting a little bit, breaking a potential Sash, which is great. Um, we've got a couple of options. We could go into our Hit on top, but we've got two Dark Types and we've got Fire Type. I think now is the time for you to go away. So what I'm going to do here is, because they have like a pretty frail team, I'm going to try and go for a Future Sight, expecting them to go for Sticky Web. They do go for a Sticky Web, which is great and all. And um, we get that nice and powerful uh, Future Sight off, which is great. Which is, of course, going to do no damage yet. But it will do some damage to something later on. So in what we're going to do now is... There is going to be an attempt here. I don't think Galvantula... There's a good chance Galvantula is not strong enough to take us out from there. I could Terra Fairy, but I'm not going to do that. 
I think I go for a chilly reception here just to see if I can. So they go for a thunder. They hit the thunder because they've probably got compound eyes. And that's going to take out Slowking. So Slowking did do good. It took out the, um, uh, the Metagross. Got the future site up, which is always nice. Um, the only problem we've got now is what do we do here? So I'm leaning towards the hit him on top rapid spins play. So I am going to do that because I want to get rid of these uh, sticky webs. They really hinder our team, especially with our Tyranitar being a um, Dragon Lancer and everything. So I'm going to go for a rapid spin here. I don't see any reason not to unless they Terra. They don't. They go for a Thunder there, which is going to do half. Might paralyze us. It doesn't know, which is great. Rapid spin is going to come through. And we get rid of those sticky webs at the same time, which is great. Now, we're probably... No, yeah. Future Sight takes out Galvantula. There we go. So that's literally what I was about to say. Now, the Galvantula goes down to the Future Sight, which is great. <laughs> so no sticky webs, which is amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. We per we timed that perfectly. But now they can go to Staraptor or Manaphy. Manaphy is an awesome one as well. Because this thing's probably Take Heart, which is basically a Manaphy's signature Calm Mind. Um... I have a couple of options here. Terror Blast, Grass, Pyro. But we go for Hyper Voice first. Or I can smack this thing in the face with a CC. I'm going to smack it in the face with a CC because I feel like it's going to self take hearts. And I am fully offensive on the Hitmon top. So they go for a Tail Glow. That's even more terrifying. That is even more terrifying. However, it, it, we do outspeed it with a Pyro. So as long as we can get some solid damage off here, which we can. There we go. Then we're actually all right. We're all right position-wise. So um, that's great and all. Now what do they do? They have to attack, right? So we go for a Sucker Punch for sure. We definitely go for a Sucker Punch here just to get some more damage off. Because they have to attack, otherwise they lose to close combat. So we go for a Sucker Punch. There we go. They did try and attack. We get some damage off on the Mana Fee. They go for an Alluring Voice, which is going to take out my hit on tap, no problem. Um, now, we don't need to Terra with our Pyro. We don't need to Terra with our Pyro. We can just go for our Hyper Voice, which is great and all. Great and all, great and all. So, I'm going to go... Oh, do I go Zoroark? Uh, hmm. I could go Zoroark Tyranitar. I could go Zoroark, like, dis disguised as Tyranitar, I mean. Or I can go Pyro and get the Hyper Voice up, but then the Star is probably Scarfed. Um... In other words, what's Pyro really doing for us? He gets outsped by Ogre Pond. Toxtricity is probably Scarfed or something like that. And the Star is probably Scarfed or something. I don't know what, what it's going to be. So we make them too nervous to eat a berry, which is great and all. We go for a Hyper Voice here. And that should take our Manaphy from there. We do outspeed. Hyper Voice comes through. Manaphy goes down, which is fantastic. So Pyro gets a KO, which is great and all. Absolutely fantastic, I will say. We get that Throat Spray, which is amazing. So now is the real question. What do we do? So they go into Staraptor, which is fine. It's nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. They get some Stealth Rock shit, which is fantastic. Um, we basically... I, I, we let Pyro go down here because it's not doing anything else for us. Um, so I'm going to go... For, I'm, I'm going to try Fire Blast. Why not? Um, they are Brave. They are Choice Scarf, which is good to know. Brave Bird comes through and that takes us out. So it's good to know they're Choice Scarfed. Like I said, the, the only reason they bring it in is if it was Choice Scarfed, right? So now we do go into the real Tyranitar, knowing that we outspeed. And uh, not outspeed, know that, knowing that they have to switch out. And we go for a Dragon Dance here. I, 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 I've I already mentioned this before. I have Stone Edge on here, even though it's loaded dice. It's an accident. It's meant to be Rock rock Blast. <laughs> Let's go for a Dragon Dance here. They do withdraw the Star Raptor, and they're probably thinking, hey, I'm going to bring this thing in later. Close combat it. Um, but they go into Ogre Pond, which is fine. Get some Stealth Rock Chip on that thing. Um, are they going to Terra that? That's the real question. So Dragon Dance comes through, which is great. Now, do we go for an EQ? The reason I want to go for EQ is because there's a good chance they're going to Terra here to get that defense boost, which means we want to hit it on the super effective side, right? So I think the play is to go for an EQ here. So they go for a Horn Leech. They still outspeed us, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy that they still outspeed us after a Dragon Dance. I must not be max speed or something, because that's not right. <laughs> but the Earthquake doesn't take him out, unfortunately, as they are able to take us out the next turn with a Horn Leech. There we go. So now it all comes down to Zoroark again, like the last game. Zoroark 
is one of them Pokemon where it's like it could come through for us, but I don't think it will. Um, so, I mean, it'll come through. It's not going to come through for us at all. It's going to get taken out by an Ivy Cudgel right now. It's definitely getting taken out by an Ivy Cudgel right now. So, I guess I just go for a Night Days. There's no real reason not to. They go for an Ivy Cudgel. That's going to take us out, no problem. There we go. As Zoroark goes down. So, that is going to be the game. So, GG Yale. That was a pretty fun one. So, all in all, this team that we have here, it was a pretty rushed team. Hence why there's rock stonage on the Tyranitar and stuff. I apologize for that. For anyone who's tried it, if you haven't had much success with it, I apologize for that. But anyway, GG Yale. That was a pretty fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you really want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you had any success with it. I'm interested to see what you guys... Um, have had with it overall though we lost all three games with this um did we lose all three games with this team i think we did or we might have we might have won the first one um but overall not the best team in the world but it was pretty fun to use anyway with pyro and zoroark on there pretty pretty fun stuff